Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. I'm doing pretty good. I woke up, I'm in a good mood. We're, we're, we're getting there. Now a frequently asked question that I get pretty much on every single social media platform I'm on is how do you gender your axolotl? So uh, we are gonna answer that question. So let's go ahead and head on over to the axolotl tanks, shall we? If you guys didn't know, I have two double stacks of tanks here. Over there, I have my double stack of males. The 40 gallon on the top here is my suspected females, but they're still juveniles. And the bottom here is my known females. First, let's just appreciate how adorable Buggy is. You're so freaking cute. The question we're asking here today is how do I know which ones are males and which ones are female? Let's go ahead and look at our female axolotl here. Today's model is blank. Her face is flushed because she literally just ate a giant worm because I was like, if I'm going to bother her, I'm going to feed her. Blink here is a golden albino and the reason you can tell that this little lady is a female is because she's got this really round belly and from the top, you can also see from the top, she is fairly round as well. If she was gravid, she would actually be rounder than this if she had um, eggs in her belly that uh, she was waiting to give to a male. Uh, but females tend to have this really round body, really round abdomen here. And then you look at the base of the tail here at the cloaca, uh, you can see that she doesn't have a bump here. Uh, it's pretty, pretty smooth. So this is how we know that Blink is a female. Up here is one of my suspected female juveniles. Uh, she's younger than Blink. Uh, she's not, she's not the 18, I think she's barely at a year. Um, and I suspect that she's a female just because she is fairly round and you can see she doesn't have that bump at the base of the tail. And I'm pretty sure she's been gravid. You can look at Buggy from the top too and you can also see she's got that super round belly. And this is why I'm, I'm fairly certain that she's a female. So now males on the other hand, like my homeboy Toothless here, who is currently just coated in sand, uh, they tend to be a little bit more leaner, a little thinner. You can see from the top here, he's definitely, he's a little bit distorted from the water, but you can definitely tell that he is much thinner and a lot less round than the female I just showed you. Also the telltale sign of a male is this bump at the base of the tail, which you might be able to see a little bit better on Remy here. Uh, you can see how it looks almost swollen at the cloaca, unlike the female. Um, and this indicates that you have a male. Thank you, Toothless, for being an optimal an optimal model for me today. He is so long. You are such a big boy. I do want to give a disclaimer that you cannot accurately gender your axolotl until they are between the ages of 6 and 18 months. So when you are buying a juvenile, keep in mind that you do not know the gender. So if you are buying multiple axolotls when they're juveniles, you know, little itty bitty babies, keep in mind that you could end up with a male and female and make sure that you are prepared to take proper precautions to separate them when the time comes. I hope that helped you guys out. I hope that shed some light on how to properly gender your axolotl and I will see you next time.